Mount Van Hohenberg is the site of the 1932 and 1980 Olympic Games. There are several things that you can do here, but what this is, is actually the longest North American cliffside coaster, and this is going to be the full run from start to finish, letting you know if this is something that you would like to do when you're visiting Lake Placid. Here you get an idea of what the uphill is going to look like. Take a look to your left at the main building that is one of the most diverse sports facilities in the world. In the winter, it will accommodate the sliding sports along with biathlon and Nordic skiing. And then in the summer, it will turn into a hiking and mountain biking center. Now look down to your left, which is the finished straightaway of the old sliding track that was used for both the 1932 and 1980 Winter Olympic Games. If you think of historic sports venues from around the world like Wimbledon for tennis or Indianapolis for auto racing, this track on the left is where World famous in its own right. Nine decades ago, baseball had Babe Ruth and bobsledding had Billy Fisk, who won the gold medal here in 1932 in the four-man bobsled event. The award ceremony took place not far from where you are now. And listen to Fisk comment on winning the gold and the cup. I'm very glad to have been able to win this cup for America, and I hope it stays in this country. Two Lake Placid residents, Curtis and Hubert Stevens, won the two-man gold medal in 1932 games, and listen to what they said after they won their gold medal. Very wonderful trip down the slide. However, it's the thrill of the sport rather than the victory that really counts in bobsled. Alright, this part's a little bumpy, but uh, that is a long way up. Nice scenery though. If you look to the left, you will see the new cross-country and biathlon courses that were just built to accommodate the 2023 World University Games that will be staged in Lake Placid. This event will enrich Lake Placid and New York State's Olympic legacy into a second hundred-year span. This global event will be staged over 11 days with 13 different sports competing involving 600 universities, 60 nations, and a total of 3,000 athletes, delegates, and officials. The event was previously staged in Lake Placid in 1972, and the summer version was staged in Buffalo, New York in 1993. All right, it's not as bad as a regular Hi, roller coaster, but that I'm is a long Taylor, track pilot up. of the U.S. women's bobsled team and three-time Olympic medal winner. I want to review some of the riding instructions with you. Little down. Remember, you are in full control of the ride once you have passed the attended building at the top. You will be able to control your speed with the brake levers. Simply push the levers to go and pull the levers to slow down or to brake. Keep your eyes forward at all times. Remember, it is your responsibility to slow down and brake for slow or stopped riders. Maintain 80 feet between you and the car in front of you. You should increase your distance to 180 feet for wet conditions. There are signs along the uphill ride to assist you in judging 80 feet and 180 feet. Keep your hands and feet inside the car at all times. Pay attention and read instructional signs along the way. If the ride stops for any reason, stay in your car and await further instructions. Have a great ride. Very scenic. The Mount Van Hoverberg Olympic bobsled run is nationally significant. I'll let you know now. Association with the 19th Don't have to hold down the uh, levers the development of on the, the long States. way up. Also, for its association with the development of Lake Placid as a center for winter sports in the U.S. Right the bobsled run was constructed in 1930 after Godfrey Dewey was successful in convincing the International Olympic Committee to bring the 1932 Winter Olympic Games to Lake Placid. Dewey was the son of Lake Placid Club founder Melville Dewey, who founded the Dewey Decimal System in there's also lights on the cart the ahead of it. see that Lake Placid could offer facilities equal to the best European sites. Dewey was instrumental in securing funding, identifying event sites, and participating in the design and construction of sports facilities. Of the latter, the bobsled run was considered critical, and Dewey promised the committee a first-class run. Despite America's inexperience with bobsled tracks, Dewey succeeded by securing the service of Stanislas Zelinski, a renowned German course designer who designed a course that was radical different from its European counterparts. After the American team won two gold medals and one silver in 1932 at the bobsled competitions, the sport was previously unknown in America, but now it captivated the country's interest. But now look straight up in front of you to the top of the mountain they call Mount Van Hovenberg. Way up there was right, the original like about four minutes start of the, to the 1932 top. bobsled competition. The track then was one and a half miles in length. It was shortened in 1939 to one mile. And if you get a chance, there is a great trail at the top where you can see the remnants of the old 1932 track. And when you get to the top, a breathtaking view awaits you. 
If you look to the left, that building is where the start was for the 1980 Winter Olympic Games bobsled competition. On your right is the new bobsled illusion skeleton start buildings built in 1999 for the Winter Goodwill Games. And further right, you will see the ski jumps, Whiteface Mountain, the Olympic Arena downtown Lake Placid. And that's where the greatest moment in sport of the 20th century took place in 1980 when a bunch of USA college hockey players beat the mighty Russians in the famous Miracle on Ice. You might have seen that movie Miracle with Kurt Russell. This is Alana again. Remember, keep your seatbelts buckled at all times. You will soon be entering the downhill track. Keep both hands on the brake levers at all times. Push the brake levers forward now and keep them forward until you have passed the attendant building. Okay, down so you pass me. Have fun. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, now get ready for your ride down this historic track. You'll be going over the top of the same track used for both the 1932 and 1980 Winter Olympic Games. Attention. And they're off down the long straightaway above curve one. Taking so far, a curve. So far. Approaching curve two. Taking curve two through on the way to cliffside. Huh. Approaching cliffside. Mm. Taking cliffside. Cliffside is a corner combination of three, four, two cliffside, and on the way to curve six. Approaching curve oh, six. Over there. Taking the curve through on the long straightaway above curve seven. <laughs> this is where the slides really started to accelerate. Oh. Approaching seven, taking the curve through seven. Now below us is the straightaway to curve eight. Whoa. A little higher than I thought it would be. Oh, that's that's going to be fun. Uh, I don't know about this one. Eight, taking the curve oh. through eight, on the way to Big Shady. Oh. Woo. Taking the big curve at Shady. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Through. And on the long straightaway above Little Less, <laughs> Shady was one of the most famous curves in the world. The reason they call the Shady? It always was covered in shades to protect it against the sunlight. Oh, oh. The G-forces oh. in that curve were incredible. Oh. Approaching Little Less. Oh. Taking the curve through the S oh, on the way to so Curve far no breaking. the curve through 12 and on the way to the world famous zigzag curve oh man this is gonna hurt there we go zigging oh sagging what a change of direction at 75 mile an hour plus huge crowds used to be in the zigzag area and for good reason through zigzag and on the way to curve 15 Taking the curve 15 on the long straightaway above the finish curve. Oh, longest mountain coaster in the U.S. right now. There we and go. Now we're going to enter a 360 Whee! degree curve we call a Chrysler. Only two oh, Olympic trucks man. ever had one of these built. Now you're approaching the finish curve. Uh, taking the curve through and down. Taking a bobsled ride is called the Champagne of Thrills. And if you like what you just did, sign up for the real deal. The ride on ice in the winter. Hopefully this ride gave you the idea if the $55 price tag is worth it for you. For me, I found it to be both educational and fun as this was the first cliffside coaster that I have ever taken. However, that $55 price tag was a bit to swallow Thankfully, I was here on a conference and this is what we did for our trust building exercise. So it, no money came out of my pocket, but this will give you an example of what you can expect. Hope you enjoyed the ride. 